What happened that day and what is left? Where, uh, how much of this material um, were there bodies? Yeah. Tell so, me what happened that day. So as the report goes, it was actually two, there was actually um, two incidents. Uh, there was two crashes, not one. Uh, and uh, one was b- b- partially recovered. And there were, there were biological specimens inside, uh, allegedly four. And they were very quickly whisked away, taken to the military base to lock them down. They didn't want the locals uh, touching them or getting, getting a hold of them. And, um, of course, we know what happened after that, which was this campaign to say, oh, no, these are Mylar balloons and stuff like that. No, these were crash test dummies that came down. Well, that's interesting because we weren't using dummies back then for some of these tests. You know, we weren't using dummies until later. So um, these these specimens were looked at. I don't know where they went after that um, and uh, where the material went after that. The, the, the trail gets kind of cold. Turns out later that there was another uh, U.S. military installation, Wright-Patterson in Ohio, that also was involved in looking at material of, of crashed unknown vehicles of unknown origin. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, there's even some, some very interesting document, documentation um, out there, if you know where to find it. Again, that's completely unclassified. Anybody can look at it. There, there's a, a site called the Black Vault. Uh, the gentleman who runs that has a huge, huge, huge library of Freedom of Information Act releases that the U.S. government, the CIA, the FBI, the NSA, the Department of Defense, the DIA have all released over the years. And there's a treasure trove of these documents. And when you start reading these documents and realizing these are official government documents to the director of the FBI, from the director of the FBI, to the director of the CIA, the National Security Council, these are real. These are legit. You know, this is not Lou Elizondo telling you this. This is your government telling you this. And I, I think this I is know, part of my government always lies to us. So I, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, no, touche, of course. Uh, but, you know, a, a lieutenant colonel that's there in the field writing a report, they're not lying to you. You know, a politician, yeah. maybe, you know, uh-huh. a, a senior person that's uh, trying to cover their butt. Yeah. But, you know, a, a low level lieutenant colonel who's there, who's an MP military police is just writing the report to his general. That's they're not lying to you. That's that's a real report written by a real, real individual uh, about a real, real occurrence. So have you been allowed to see anything? I mean, I assume there's been other crashes. Uh, have you been able to actually see this evidence with your own eyes, the actual actually, physical evidence? Yeah, I actually gave a briefing to a senior member of the Department of Defense in 2017, several briefings, about the material that I, that I, I, I personally ha- have held in my hand. I, I, I have held it in my hand. And so have other individuals that, and I'm not going to say who they were, that worked for aeros- very, very high-end aerospace companies, um, best of the best. And they're looking at this from an engineering perspective and they're, they're scratching their head. They're saying, you know, I, I mean, I, I can see it, I believe it, but I can't believe this material was found back then. Uh, and, and under those circumstances, um, this material, we did not have the engineering capability. It is an engineered piece of material. It, it's layered. Uh, it was studied by NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It's been studied by other organizations as well. Um, you know, and of course, that's really the gold standard, isn't it? When you have material that you can analyze and you can uh, look at that material and, and succinctly say, yeah, this material is very special and it requires an X degree amount of technology to manufacture or reproduce. And frankly, it did not exist at the time the material was found, at least not with, with us, with, with, with humans. 